Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Jess and today I'm really excited. We are going to be taking a ton of succulent cuttings. I have this entire grow shelf behind me. I'm going to be taking cuttings from all three tiers. Pretty much every succulent I own will probably get cut. Um, I am going to be showing you guys kind of the process that I use for you know, potting these back up. I did just buy this massive pack of nursery pots, like these little square two inch ones. Um, they're just nice and short. They're perfect for planting succulents in. And I think most of my cuttings are going to fit in this size of a container. So I'm going to be potting them all up in this. Um, I have some Next Gardener succulent soil that I'm going to be using. I'll link that down below. I love it. Um, it's great stuff. Um, this shirt before we get any further will also be linked down below. It's going to be in my Etsy store and Right up here. I'm going to be linking a video um, where I talked about the benefits of cutting succulents instead of Using other propagation methods go check that out because cutting is definitely the best way to propagate your succulents So the only thing that I'm going to grab are this these little pairs of sewing scissors is what I usually use because they're really thin and can kind of get into cracks really easily and then I'll probably just use a knife um, to cut Okay, so now I'm gonna take my succulent soil from the next gardener, and I have this entire tray, and then I have um, this tray of cuttings. And some of them are bigger than these little pots, like this guy's not gonna fit in this small little pot. Um, but I'm gonna pot up the little ones all on this shelf, and hopefully I'll just kind of look super as I like that. So these two are kind of just a little bit big, like if this was how it was, I'd probably want to repot it, but because there's no roots in it, I'm going to just set them there. Um, probably what will end up happening is they'll focus a lot more of their energy on growing roots right away instead of any new growth. Um, and then once they kind of get established, then we'll pot them up into something a little bit bigger. However, something like this. I'm going to put in a larger pot. I'm not going to put it in this section. Okay, so now we got them all, got these ones all potted up, um, all of the ones that I had put soil in, but we are maybe a third of the way through this tray. I still have a ton, a ton of the Pachy Compact, um, Pachyphatum Compactum with the little jewel, and a lot of these. I'll probably put multiple of these in each pot, um, but that's just usually how they grow, but otherwise... We also have a ton of ogre's ears and stuff like that. Um, these ones I did put more of the bear's paw just because they were really tiny cuttings. Um, otherwise, I kind of felt like 
most of them were pretty appropriate sizes. These ones back here were maybe a little bit small in some of these ones, but um, otherwise, I think that they're looking really good and I'm really pleased so far. So I think what I'll do is I'll put more pots in here and All right, so this is as far as we made it. We still have this left in our tray. So all of these um, red clanchos and Tom's Thumb here. Um, these, I wanna keep calling them Rebecca, but I don't think that's what they are. They're kind of interesting little things. Um, just a bunch of random little things left. Um, some more of those like sedum type varieties, but I think I got most of the my favorites, I should say, potted up. So we got a whole bunch of um, Lola's. These are the Graptovaria Lovely Rose. Um, I think these are a Graptopatellum of some sort, a Golden Sedum. I can't remember the name of these purple ones. Bear's Paw, lots of those. Moonstones, Pachyphytum Compactum. I don't remember the name of this one. I know I have it somewhere, but um, I love them because they look like grass. Ogre's ear, of course. So definitely got a lot going on. And then we still have a whole bunch of space here. So I would like to get all of these in there. Um, and then I also have a lot of how worthy is that I need to be splitting, but um, I don't have any more pots. So <laughs> um, this is going to be it for today. Okay, so the only other things that I did is I did lower this grow light pretty significantly, um, just so that it's only about six inches away from the succulents. And then I did put a few of my other succulents that um, I want to, I just needed to throw them on here. All of these need to be repotted um, and put into a bigger size container, but this is kind of what my solution was for now because I don't have time to do it until probably next week, um, but they still needed to be under lights. So I think this turned out so cool though. But that is all I have for today's video. I do need to get some more pots because that's what I ran out of. So I would love to be able to continue to fill in this um, with more succulent cuttings. And I still have a lot of cuttings that need to be potted up, um, but I'll probably end up doing those later down the road when I have a little bit more time. But I did want to share this with you guys because I thought this was such a fun project. And succulents from cuttings are really easy to do. Um, like I kind of said, you just want to have a little bit of a stem. Make sure to have a node where the leaves were attached or try to. It will probably work without it, but it has better success with it. And then you can just stick it in some dry soil and just kind of like I did here and just let them sit for a week. And then I'll probably water these. Um, maybe sometime next week or in two weeks, you don't really have to water them until roots have actually started growing, um, but it will probably take a while. Otherwise you don't wanna rot them or anything. And so it's actually better to err on the side of watering less than watering more. Um, otherwise you could have left them in a tray, kind of like how I have them here. Um, these ones will probably stay in this tray until next week. So it'll just stay like this and then I'll pot it up next week um, and go from there. That is all I have for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps support my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.